Welcome to my 2023 style and fashion wrap series where I am going to be going over all of my favorite products in the various categories. So we're gonna talk about things like what are my favorite camis, bras, underwear, joggers, shirts, jeans. Like this is the stuff that is genuinely my favorite from the year and I wore the most. You know, what are my favorite sneakers? That kind of a thing. And then we are also gonna talk about some stuff that surprised me like, hmm, I didn't expect to love that but I actually wore it a ton. That kind of a thing. Let's get into it. If you've ever watched my channel before, you might know that I have a little bit of a weakness for shoes. So I feel like it's only appropriate to start with some shoes. So let's start with sneakers. Definitely for me, the Adidas Sambas. They they get the gold medal in this category because one of the things I think I really like about the Sambas is they're sort of a minimalistic style sneaker in that I feel like they really go with a lot of stuff. I have actually styled them with a a lot of kind of workwear, business casually kind of things. And I feel like they look so good because they're sort of just they're more of like a narrow sneaker. They're simplistic in nature. What else I think is cool about that is I feel like typically with sneakers like that, they're a little bit more going to go with everything. So think of like an all white Converse or something like that. Kind of is gonna go with everything. I feel like the Sambas, even though they're clearly branded, you know, they've got stripes on them. They've got a little bit of something going on. I still think that they kind of are streamlined enough that they just look good with a lot of stuff. I have found them ever since I think I bought them over the summer to be like literally my go-to sneaker. So they 100% get the, why do I keep saying gold medal? They get the gold medal. Okay. <laughs> boots, boots. Boots for me have to be the Glitter Boots by Portland Boot Company from Walmart. They went $15 this year. Let me know down in the comments if you got them for that price. I paid way more. I paid like $50 three years ago, so just saying. I have them in all the colors. By far my most worn is black. I bought a backup pair. To me, that says it all. When they went down to $15, I was like, you know what? It can't hurt. It can't hurt. <laughs> because I know eventually mine are gonna get worn out because I wear them so much. I would love Love to hear how much you love your glitter boots. If you've not already told me, several of you have told me already. I absolutely love them. I hope they bring them back next year. I hope. So good. While we are on the topic of shoes, let's talk about something that shocked the actual crap out of me, okay? I decided to purchase some ballet flats. I only decided to purchase them because I was like, oh, let me do a kind of how to style ballet flats. I'm not overly into them, but I thought, hey, they're kind of the it shoe of the season or of the year, whatever. And I feel like it would be helpful to people. You know, I always like to kind of do the style of content that I think would be helpful, but also that I'm interested in doing. This one probably leaned a little bit more on I thought it would be helpful. You know what I mean? With my video of how to style uh, Adidas Sambas, which I should have plugged while I was talking about the Sambas, by the way, I can link that video for you. I kind of, it was both, right? I'm like, I thought it would be helpful and I really wanted to do the video because I really wanted the Sambas and I was super happy to style them. I accidentally fell in love with ballet flats. I feel like I have several picks for this, for this category. I definitely have my most worn, which are hands down, feet down, the scoop, kind of very standard, typical ballet flats from Walmart. I wore the red ones the most, uh, probably mostly because I got them around holiday, but I ended up getting them in the pink because I love them so much. And then I think I have two in terms of just my favorite. I wouldn't necessarily say they're my most worn, but it's my denim flats from Amazon. I love those. These all run true to size, by the way. And then if you love kind of a little bit more of an edgy style, hi, hello, we are the same if that is you. These Steve Madden ballet flats with all the buckles and it reminds you of like a 1995 cool girl style belt or whatever. I mean, I don't even know if they were cool girl style back then. I'm kind of calling them that now with all the grommets and stuff. And I just love them. Mm, 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 mm. For sandals, I have two. One that is more of a very casual sandal and then one that is a heeled sandal. They're actually both from Walmart. If you happen to be new here, I do a lot of Walmart shopping. So first is the heeled sandal. These wrap 
Afia braided style sandals. I just found them to round out so many looks for me. And I'm a little bit heel sensitive and I feel like they were very comfortable and I had no issue walking around in them. I just really kind of, they kind of surprised me in that I was just grabbing for them. And that's how you know that something is so versatile where you're kind of like, you don't really know what to grab and then you just kind of keep grabbing the same thing. To me, that's just, it's so great when something like that happens, but you sometimes don't know that that's gonna happen. I'm sure we can all relate to this where you've had something that you were so excited about, you couldn't wait to get it, you finally got it, and then you kind of don't really use it or wear it. It could be anything in your life, right? It doesn't have to be clothes as much as you thought you would. And sometimes the most unexpected stuff is the most worn stuff. And then in terms of a little bit more of a casual sandal, these are another one that surprised me. So those kind of like cloud pillow uh, slides, I guess from Walmart, they ended up making them this year in something that looked a little bit more um, like a typical Birkenstock. They clearly weren't Birkenstocks, but they were kind of like one mold. Like even the buckles were kind of like into the mold. Like, I don't know, maybe perhaps they were even a little bit corny, but I found myself wearing those all the time. And again, with something that's leopard, leopard, if you're an oldie but a goodie on the channel, I find leopard to just be so neutral, versatile. Uh, so I just found myself wearing them all the time. And they were just kind of a fun little break for me from the typical cloud pillow slides because I have so many of those and was wearing them all the time. So anyway, love those. And then the final shoe category that I'll talk about as a favorite is loafers. Lug loafers in particular. This is not gonna surprise anybody. I don't know that I really have a definitive favorite pair. However, I just like them overall. So I'll just kind of pop up some photos in general of me wearing them. I did really like the pink ones that I got from Walmart this year that had the pink sole. I just thought that was kind of fun and different. And I do have several pairs of lug loafers and they are very distinct against the other ones. Um, I have found I really love lug loafers with flare pants and I have found I really love them with split hem pants. Is, is, is what I was, they're so good. I love them. Do you like lug loafers? Is it just me? I'm almost sad because I know they're not gonna be in style forever and I have a bunch of them, which is not great, but um, I'm gonna keep wearing them because I love them. I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna do me. Oh, hey, it's just me, host Jen. I just wanted to welcome you in to the channel if you happen to be new here. And if you are not new, then welcome back. My channel is all about helping you be your most confident self through style and fashion. And what we typically like to do on this channel is we like to cook a lot of looks. Cooking looks in the kitchen. We be cooking them looks. So if you would like to see affordable outfit ideas from somebody that has a multiple styles disorder, then please consider subscribing. I also like to say subscribe if you're awesome or subscribe if you want to be awesome. And just a little morning announcement, perhaps an evening announcement. Whenever you're watching this, I do like to warn folks that I'm just a little bit goofy. Just a little. Okay, now that we got that out of the way. Most of this series, my wrap series for 2023, the stuff is generally not gonna be linkable. However, if anything does happen to be linkable, I will definitely list it down in the description box below. I think that's everything. Let's keep going with the video. So if you've been following any of my content this year, you would have known I did, what was it? A 30 plus jean try on from Walmart. Um, and I did it with my bestie Donna, who is an apple shape. I'm very much a pear shape. So I can definitely link that video for you. Uh, people I believe really did like that video. It was definitely one of my highest performing videos ever, which is really, really cool. So thank you, Donna, for filming that. I think it absolutely had everything to do with the fact that we were doing like apple versus pear, which was really, really cool. Definitely check out that video, but shockingly, shockingly, I'm not not gonna say that one of those was my favorite. I don't think for me, anything has trumped the scoop wide crop with sort of the cutoff frayed style bottom. And here's how I know how much I love those. Number one, I kept going to them and they're kind of the perfect, I don't know, for me, they were sort of perfect in this transition period of jeans of like, you know, I'm kind of sad about skinny jeans too. And you know, I've started wearing skinny jeans again, but if you're kind of an elder millennial like me trying to update your wardrobe, whatever, I feel like those are just a really perfect pair for me because I just found them to still be flattering, to still be comfortable. And they were very much more so a modern jean versus like the typical millennial skinnel jeans, if you will, the skin. Skinnel, okay, skinnel. And with this job for me, I know that I love something if I continue to wear it beyond the season that it's linkable. And hear me out, hear me out. It has everything to do with shortcuts. Like, yes, it, 
it's, you know, it's my job to link stuff and all of that stuff and whatever. But when I continue to wear something and then I'm trying to link that outfit, in theory, I need to find something comparable to link that's kind of go with that outfit. So like at the end of the day, it's kind of more work to do that, right? It's so much easier to just link the here and now, this is brand new, you can buy it. Like you can go to the store, you can buy it online, it's available. And I have continued to fight that with these jeans and continue to wear them because I love them so much. So they absolutely had to win for me, even though in that video where we tried 30 plus jeans, I absolutely found some very good favorites that would be really good runners up to this competition. So definitely check out that video. So while we're on the subject of pants, let's talk about two sort of style of pants, if you will, styles of pants. So one that didn't really surprise me, but I definitely just love them. And every time I see them, I'm drawn to them. And I now own several is the split hem style pants. I don't know what it is about these pants. I like them in jeans. I like them in a flared legging. I like them in a workwear pant. I absolutely love them with loafers. I think I mentioned that earlier. And I'm just very drawn to these pants. I think because I'm someone who likes to pop an ankle. That's why I love cropped pants. And I think it's like, even if they're longer, you're popping an ankle. I also love to pop a sock. So I feel like that is another reason why I probably like them. If you're wondering why I'm thinking like this, I just always love to almost dig deeper and analyze like, why do you love those, Jen? What's, let's, let's dig one layer deeper. Let's peel back the onion. What's going on? And then secondarily, a style that I have been really loving this year that maybe took me more by surprise was this concept of wearing workwear style pants with something that was a lot more casual. So you're wearing it with sneakers, you're wearing it with a graphic tee, you know, whatever it is. I have really, really been loving to wear styles like that. And I don't know what, tell me if you guys agree, but I personally think that workwear style pants are usually more comfortable than jeans. I don't know if that's corporate gen talking with all of my years wearing workwear pants and not so much jeans, I'm not really sure. But that's a really good segue into workwear pants. Walmart had this pair that I'm just absolutely enthralled with. They are a cropped straight leg and they're just so comfortable. I think they do still have them left in some colors. I bought all the colors. They were a good example of, I just kept grabbing them over and over and over again. I'm kind of like, oh, I'm styling these again. Okay. <laughs> because it's just like I was gravitated towards them. So they definitely have to win uh, my favorite in terms of workwear pants. Let's talk about leggings. Obviously I wear a ton of leggings. Uh, in terms of faux leather leggings, I love the ones by Walmart Time and True. I noticed this year, it was weird with those. Two years ago, I think I wore them in a large. I was thinner back then, not thin, thinner. <laughs> And then I noticed, I think last year, I'm like, okay, the extra large actually fits me better. And then I got a couple more pair this year, just cause again, I wear them so much in extra large. And I was kind of like, I don't know, they almost felt too big. I, th I think they're almost like more stretchy or something. They have the propensity to roll down more or something. I don't know, let me know if you experience that. And I also learned kind of that I like to roll the leggings. I don't know, that's a little bit weird, but roll the bottoms. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> not always, just sometimes. I love the Sofia Vergara leggings of the studio line at Walmart. Um, I find them to be extraordinarily comfortable. And then I also really like airy leggings. Um, I don't feature them a ton on the channel, but I have a bunch of old airy leggings that are still heavily in my rotation. One of the things that I really love about my airy black seven eights leggings is they are, how do I describe them? So they're sort of like a cotton, very casual looking legging, but they're, they're fitted like that. So you know how oftentimes leggings that are like that are a little bit more athletic and kind of shiny in nature. These are athletic, but without any branding on them. Like there's not anything that looks athletic about them really, but they suck you in and they are not shiny. They're they're matte. I know that's not the right way to say it, but I really like how that goes with kind of a, a very just everyday outfit that's not necessarily supposed to be an athleisure or a sporty look or a gym look or whatever, you know, so. So we did pants. Naturally, the next thing to do would be to do tops. In between that, let me share another kind of style favorite that I discovered that I love this year. And that is really two color combinations. The first one is green and purple. I'm not in any way claiming that these are new or inventive. It's more just, I wasn't wearing them as much as I could. I was wearing them, but I kind of, this year was kind of like, yeah, I really like those two colors together. So the green and the purple. Last year, as an example, I discovered green and gray. 
how much I loved green and gray together. That was one where I personally don't think I've had ever styled green and gray together. And now I absolutely do pretty often. I really like those two together. And oh, I know the other thing too, like you might remember, I didn't do this video last year, but I'm almost like <laughs> recapping from there. The year before this, I discovered how much I love different greens paired together. Just like throw in a teal, a lime green, a hunter green, an RB green, like just all the greens. And I feel like the more the merrier kind of, and I feel like that's not necessarily the case with every color story. So this year for me, it was the green and the purple and also navy and blue, navy and blue, navy and red. <laughs> Again, it's not revolutionary. I'm not claiming it to be. I just kind of wasn't really doing it a lot. And I'm kind of like, mm, you are right. And I think a lot of that was because red was the color. I was trying to wear red more. And then I'm kind of like, okay, what am I wearing red with? I also really love red and pink together. Why can I not talk today? Navy and pink. But that's not really new for this year. I've I've worn that a lot in, in the past. Let's talk about my two favorite things, flannels and blazers first, okay? So flannels, we all know I love them. And this year I'll say it's the George flannels, the men's version from Walmart that I get every single year. I buy them in an XL tall because I really like how the tall provides extra butt coverage if you're wearing them with something like a legging. It also would be really good if you were trying to wear it as like a dress or something. It definitely would work well. What's unfortunate about the tall is they don't start until it's extra large. So it's not like you can buy it in a medium tall as an example, which is kind of a bummer. And then the other one that I actually discovered that I like this year also from Walmart was the hooded men's style from No Boundaries. Those kind of just hit me by surprise. I feel like possibly they've been around, but I had not seen them. And when I found them, I found a lot of them and I love them and I wore them a lot and I continue to wear them a lot. So they are a-OK -okay for me. Double breasted blazers. So I have always loved blazers. However, I have a major soft spot for double breasted blazers and I'll explain why. And if you've already heard me say this, I apologize. But one of the reasons is because typically with blazers, I like to size down. I like to size things to fit my shoulders versus my hips in a lot of cases because they're on two different continents and it's almost like you've got to pick one or the other and one is going to suffer. That's like typically how it goes, right? It's like if I pick something to fit my shoulders, then it's not going to zip. It's not going to button. It's not going to whatever. If I pick something to fit my hips, it's going to drown me in my shoulders. I mean, it's just, it's, it is what it is when you're a curvy pair. So one of the reasons why I like double breasted blazers specifically specifically is because I believe that they're sort of sized similarly, right? To like a regular blazer. So if you're wearing, I often get these in a medium or a large, let's, let's just say it's a medium. So if I'm wearing a medium and a regular blazer, it's almost judging that based on, okay, yep, you're going to button it uh, right there and it's going to, you know, be a certain size. I feel like when you compare that side by side to like, let's just call it the same manufacturer fabric in a double breasted blazer, it's like they're kind of giving that same um, credit to, okay, it's got to go all around and that's what a size medium would be. But with a double breasted blazer, it's almost like you get a little bit more fabric, right? It's like it's size to go double breasted, right? So like if the singular blazer is here and that's where it stops and this is whatever circumference to go around, compare that to kind of the first set of buttons that would require it to close, but then you still have that extra set of buttons. You see what I'm saying? Like the whole double breasted and that extra double breasted like the difference between the first set of buttons and the second set of buttons to me is where it allows like almost extra room like cheat room if you will so that when you then turn around and wear those double breasted blazers open because I never wear them closed I always wear them open it's like you get a little bit more room so it's like I can size something to still fit my shoulders but it doesn't look as harsh going around my hips because I have that little bit of extra cheat room in the double breasted portion. I hope I'm making sense. I don't know. And if you're wondering why I size them to open and not to close, it's because I'm literally never going to wear them closed. So why would I size for the size to wear them closed if I'm never going to wear them closed? I'm always going to wear them open. I mean, it's almost like pants, right? It's like, why would I get a certain length of pants to wear with six inch heels if I'm never going to wear them with six inch heels? Like I'm going to get the pants to wear them how I'm normally going to wear them. Otherwise it, it 
doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? That's kind of how I feel about it. <laughs> anyway. And in terms of my actual favorite double-breasted blazers this year, I, I have to say it's a tie. Several from Walmart. I'd say the Scoop brand. I'm just gonna kind of collectively say all of those because I really like those. And then the Attitude Unknown version that I know that I've talked about before on this channel. I also really love those. So I almost have to give it to both of them. They're so good. They are so good. <laughs> see-through mesh style shirts, floral style shirts, anything that has kind of a pattern here. I really love those for layering. I feel like they are really good for taking something from summer perhaps into winter. So as an example, if you have a tube top, a bustier, a corset that you want to wear in the winter, I mean, hands down, it would be so easy to wear something like that under it. And not only do you kind of get a layering moment, which is often, you know, just a little bit more stylish, typically the more you layer and things like that, it just really really kind of does does a job. There's a lift there and you're able to make some of your wardrobe go all seasons, which is really cool. And you know, you can kind of like rinse and reuse and recycle the stuff in your closet, which is really cool. You don't have to like put it all away, get it all back out, put it all away as the seasons go. So I love that about them too. So speaking of those style tops, I actually just hauled, I think five from Free People. They have so many gorgeous. I need to feature them in some video and I, I definitely will do that. Maybe in a collective haul video or something. Oh, they're so good. And they even have like like little thumb holes, they're so cute. I also got a couple from Amazon that I need to put in a video. Oh gosh, I love those. I've got to call out, I guess, just a general category of basics. These basic ribbed shirts from Walmart that I've been talking about forever. I've been talking about the mock necks forever. And then I recently discovered that they now have them in a crew neck and they've also always had them in a cami, I shouldn't say always, but they've had them in a cami the last several years. There is something about this fabric. It is delightful. It is flattering. It is like stretchy in the the best way. It's not too stretchy. It doesn't stretch out. Like it bounces back in the best way, but it's comfortable. It's not like it doesn't squeeze you in in any way, in any kind of uncomfortable way. These are so good. And I tend to size down than them in a large because I just find that there is extra give there. And I just can't recommend these enough. I mean, I would literally, if I were you, if I were you, I would buy all the colors in every single thing they have. Just saying, that's just me. <laughs> so for me in kind of the, the upper top sweaters, you know, you know, whatever area. I feel like those are the main call outs for me. And then the last thing that I want to talk about in terms of tops is more summer related. So these really caught me by surprise. They're also from Walmart. I'm going to just call them camp shirts, button down style shirts. I wore the crap out of these and you know what they are. This is why I love them. This is what they are for me. They're my summer flannel. They're not plaid necessarily, but they're think of like kind of those like free flowing in the wind style shirts. You can wear them open. I typically do wear them open. They're my summer flannel and we all know how much I love flannels and therefore they are my summer flannel and that's the end of that story. We are about halfway through this video, so please give the video a like if you are digging it so far. That really helps out me and my channel, and I can never thank you enough. I was gonna move on to a couple accessories, but I think I'm actually going to save jewelry for, I'm doing a lifestyle video in this series, so I think I'm gonna save the jewelry for the lifestyle video, so check out that video if you are curious. But I will mention socks. I feel like they very clearly go hand in hand with shoes. <laughs> and I feel like for me, the only ones kind of worth calling out are the muckluck socks that we've recently been talking about all holiday season from Walmart. I love these socks. One of the reasons why I really like them is they are just colored and patterned enough that they generally tend to go with every outfit. So they're not completely plain. There's usually something going on with the sock, but it's also plain enough that it's not gonna like throw off a look. It's gonna usually delightfully complement a look. And that's one thing I like about them. Another thing that I like about them is with how how soft they are. They really can kind of carry the load of two uses for me and that is as house socks. They're, I'm actually wearing them right now just as house socks. And also as, you know, socks that I wear with boots to round out a look. They also look really cute with Uggs. So these have just, they take the cake for me this year for sure. All right, two more accessories for you. So the first one is these black polka dot tights. I feel like I saw these on influencers for a while and I literally looked everywhere for them everywhere for these things, okay? And I feel like I could not find them anywhere that was gonna be um, anything but one size, which we all know is not my size. It's not my size. And then Walmart had them. Thank you, thank you Walmart. I will link them below. And they are just so cute. And I just feel like they just add a little bit of like, <laughs> 
little pizzazz, little femininity to every look that you wear them with, and I absolutely love them so much. They're by the brand Joy Spun. I find them to be long enough. One thing that I struggle with with tights, even only as a five foot sixer, I don't play for the sixers, just to be clear. <laughs> dad jokes. I, you know, I still found them to, I struggled to like have the crotch go all the way up to my crotch. Probably part of that is because my legs do be taking up a lot of real estate. You know what I'm saying? So it's probably due to that, but still. And then the other thing, uh, we did already talk about camis a little bit. My favorite is definitely from Walmart in terms of just a regular cami, but I also wear a ton the Shaper Mint shaping bodysuit. Do I want to call it a cami? It's like a shaper bodysuit. I love that thing. I wear a lot of shirts tucked in as we know and I don't always wear that because I don't always care But when I really want to look like this when I have a shirt tucked in that thing is chef's kiss And it's very comfortable. It has a couple different settings It's not a thong comes in a bunch of different colors and I just love that thing I love that thing hundred percent if you haven't tried that definitely try it love it I feel like I have just kind of a general call out this year and that is I wore a lot more dresses this year a lot more dresses this year and I am very proud of that I tend to lean towards sweater dresses also sweater skirts I find them to be very flattering for my curvy pear shape so if you have not considered that I recommend I definitely do wear them with shapewear we are going to talk about shapewear in a second here as well as bras and things like that hands down hands down they are so good. All right, let's talk shapewear and then brawls. Brawls, which I know I spell B-R-A-W-L-S-S-S. I understand. It's just my dialect. It's just where I'm from. I'm so sorry. It's pronounced brawl to me. I know it's spelled B-R-A. I know. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that to the end because it was really hard to pick and I have a lot to say in that category. Let's talk about shapewear. We all know I love shapewear. We know. I have a shapewear playlist. If you've not seen it, definitely check out my shapewear playlist. I very much believe in having a shapewear wardrobe in general, like stuff on hand for different occasions. I used to think that shapewear was just the shaping shorts. They were horrible. You had to roll around a room to get them on. I am very much a believer in like just light firming everyday shapewear as an option, but also just, I don't know, the stronger stuff if you need it, if that makes sense. So let's talk about my all-time favorite, which I recently featured in an Amazon ranking video. If you've not seen that video, I can link it for you. It's ranking everything that I recently bought from Amazon from worst to first. And that is my Amazon shaping capri. One of the reasons why I love this is because you don't ever see the line. It goes beyond your knee because it's a capri, obviously, and you don't see the line. It's really kind of like a fitted legging. So if you want to get the idea of what I'm talking about, you know, if you have any fitted leggings that are capris that you could wear, I do need the capri part of it. You don't necessarily need that if you're wearing a full length pant. I usually need it though because I love wearing cropped pants. We talked earlier about how I like to pop an ankle, even though that's a shoulder. Uh, <laughs> and that's why I feel like the capri does really help me for that. I've talked about that for years. It's my all-time favorite of all time. The shaping short that I wore the most this year had to be the one from Made in Form from Walmart. It just had to be. I have a lot of different shapewear, but in terms of like what people consider the most traditional style shapewear, which is the shaping short, for me, that was the Made in Form one. It's very affordable. It's from Walmart. I find that even though I'd say it's a good solid medium control, for me, it's pretty easy up and down. I feel like I've got Got like a rhythm like when I put it on I'm kind of like whoop and I mean if you watch me on IG stories like sometimes I just be dancing around in this thing I think I recently joked that I was like a chubby rocket or something uh, over the holiday season I'm pretty sure I joked about that so you know hit me up on Instagram if you want to laugh at me or with me either one and that had to be my most worn short in terms of wearing a shaping short and not seeing the line I feel like that one does a pretty good job I will say a pretty good job and then I recently discovered two shaping panties that I absolutely love from Shaper Mint. And these were the exact style of panty that I felt like I really needed. They give a little bit of hold to your belly pooch situation. I have been struggling with that a little bit more than I did in the past because I've had some recent weight gain. And they actually came out with two new ones that I got to try when they came out and I love them. And they were exactly what I'm looking for. They're easy up and down. They're not digging in. I wanted something that was just like a little bit and that's what they are. I love them. I cannot recommend them enough. They're so good. I don't know if I can pick a favorite. They're both so good. <laughs> All right, let's talk about bras. 
Let's talk about, bra uh, sorry, brawls. Let's talk about brawls. Okay, first of all, strapless brawl. I found the best strapless brawl a couple years ago, I think it was now. I did a whole video. I will link that video to you. And it was like, I tried X amount of strapless brawls, which one was the best one. I did a jump test. It was a good video. Definitely check it out. It has to be the Delamira, still from that video. Wear it, same exact one, love it. I get asked about it all the time over on Instagram if I'm ever kind of doing like a get dressed with me and I'm featuring just my brawl. It it's so good. It is so good. And then let me talk about an old favorite. It's really three favorites. And then let me talk about a new favorite. And the reason I'm featuring this is because this is genuinely my still like most worn pieces from this year, even though I know there's multiple. Third Love. The brand Third Love makes my favorite comfortable brawls with underwire. And I say that because I'm going to talk about something else in a second. So am I wearing it today? Yeah. I am, I'm wearing it right now. I'm wearing it right now. They have two t-shirt bras that are my favorite from there. This one is probably my absolute most favorite. So when I list them for you down below, I will list them in order. Um, but they have two essentially like kind of t-shirt style bras. There's no padding. They're just super comfortable for everyday wear. Back when I was um, in office corporate gen versus at home corporate gen, I would wear these all day. I feel like this says a lot. I wouldn't even take my bra off at night when I got home. I mean, like obviously I eventually took it off. But like, I feel like every time I would wear other bras, I'm literally ripping that thing off as soon as I walk through the door because I just cannot wait to get it off because it's digging in, it's doing all the things. This one is so good. It's a little bit more pricey. I'm just gonna say that right now, but it's absolutely worth the price. The oldest one that I have is probably six or so years old and it's still going strong, still going strong. I discovered a new one from Third Love that I'll put in third place this year. It's like a very silky style and I don't know, it's kind of just almost like all integrated like the strap and the cup are kind of all the same but it still does have underwire it still does have an adjustable back that one definitely deserves like an honorable mention at number three and then the moment we've all been waiting for I know we haven't I understand um <laughs> I discovered this year that I love wireless brawls you know raise your hand if you've tried wireless brawls in the past and they were just uh, no thank you ma'am no 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 can do or they were like just a house brawl like they couldn't lift literally and figuratively more weight than that they couldn't carry you onto a date night or into work or whatever if you wanted to truly look like lifted and perky how you typically look with an underwear bra for me this was the year of wireless bras doing the work of an underwire bra so i have three that i want to mention to you the first one i featured in a recent video but it's by honey love it's called their v-neck bra i particularly love the lift of this one i like the wider straps and I love that it really just rolls right over my back fat and I have some healthy back fat okay so absolutely love that one I recently did a honey love try on in a video that I did I can link that video for you the second one and I'm gonna feature three here so, and they're not in any particular order honestly I feel like I like them all the same is the true kind which is related to shapermint they have one that has adjustable straps it has kind of like a sweetheart neckline you get nice cleavage with that one like I would wear that one on a date night. I would wear that thing anywhere. I love that bra. I have several of those. And then the last one, this was a brand that I never heard of. The only reason I even tried this bra is because they reached out to me and were interested in working with me just on Instagram. This video is not sponsored in any way. And I was kind of like, I literally said yes. Cause I'm like, well, it's the year of wireless bras for me. Why would I not want to try more? I was like, yes, I will try more. I loved all of them. The campaign that I did featured three. I did pick a favorite one. So that's the one that I'll talk about here today. But I love that one. I would say in terms of the the true kind shaper mint one, I'm wearing that one the same way. Like I'd wear it on a date night, whatever. It's so good. It is so good. And so many of you reached out to me after I did that video and were like, Jen, these brawls. Oh my gosh. And I'm like, I know, I know, I know. I never heard of the brand. I never even heard of the brand before that. So good. I don't know if my discount code I'll check. I'll check to see if my discount code is still available. I did that campaign. It was probably in the fall. So my discount code's probably not available, but I'll look and I'll leave it down in the description box if it is. I typically do have a uh, Shaper Mint discount code that I can leave for you. And that probably should work. I think it usually does work. So anyway, it was the year of the wireless brawl. Let me know if you've discovered wireless brawls in the way, in the passionate way that I have. I would be so curious to know. <laughs>
All right, that's gonna do it. Let me know down in the comments which was your favorite outfit or tip or anything that we talked about today. Let me know what was the most helpful to you or inspirational to you. And I would really love to hear that down in the comments. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, I also cannot thank you enough. That really helps out when you watch all the way to the end. And um, if you are still here, please let me know that you are still here by leaving me a heart emoji or the secret video word of Skinnel. Don't forget to subscribe if you are awesome and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified every single time that I be in the kitchen cooking them looks. And I will see you in the next one.